Why, hello, my sweet, sweet friends, and welcome back to my channel. So today, it's the start of dreaded tax season, and I'm been my own. And I am really bad for leaving my prescription receipts in my purse. So I have a year's worth that I need to find and drag from my purse. Therefore, I figured why not do a what's in my purse chronic illness edition. This here is my purse and it's just very basic. So I don't even know what I have in here. So this is probably going to be interesting. So I have an appointment card and a receipt. My bank, um, not my bank. My, when I went to church, like a prayer slip thing, a receipt and Canadian tire money, of course, because I'm Canadian. Now for this middle pouch and I'm really afraid because I keep Zofran in here and I probably have a lot of like the empty sleeves that the film comes in and normally when I clean my purse, oh my gosh, like you can tell I'm on Zofran all the time. So beware. But anyways, I have an empty hand sanitizer that can be thrown out. I have some David's tea, which I have like lemon cayenne, strawberry rhubarb parfait, ginger turmeric tonic, and super ginger, because I normally keep ginger tea in there in case I'm like trapped with nausea and think it could potentially help me. I have empty pill sleeves, more. I have a hand sanitizer that's full. Then I have Zofran that has some Zofran in it. Then I have, see, told ya, lots of empty Zofran things. That's taken care of. Let's go into this pouch here, this little pouch in the back, so. I have Advil. I only have one left in there. I also have airmail things because this morning I went to the post office and small post things to send out positively bountiful packages. Um, I have another receipt. Peppermint tea. Quite a few. Um... I have Starbucks gift cards. I have here hydrocortisone cream, I think is what this is. It's like Fusidate. It's for my pick line because sometimes I get like granulation tissue on it where it slides in and out and we need to use this when I get my pick dressing changed on Mondays. I have a gross apple cinnamon tea bag, so we're just gonna get rid of that there. Another appointment card that I need to keep because I haven't had that appointment yet, so yes. I also have this big, long, um, actually I don't like this, never mind. Um, this here is basically one of these sleeves for your pick line except I don't like these ones because these ones here are actually more of like a fishnet whereas the other ones more of a mesh type thing they're two very different things the big pouch well <laughs> this is gonna be glorious so I have peppermint oil capsules that I use for like pain and nausea and stuff. My wallet, which is a complete disaster, but I ain't cleaning that out today. 
I have crystal light that hasn't been opened, so I can keep that. I also have Kool-Aid water enhancers that haven't been opened. I have these here, um, liver, not liver, digestive enzymes. We had me on last year at one point thinking my pain in my upper rib there was from pancreas and liver problems that they just couldn't find, but they didn't help. So I think I have two bottles in here that I never ended up using. These prescription things that I am looking for for the purposes of my taxes. Another Zofran. A Gas X empty box because I take that like no other because Hashtag abdominal distension, an empty crystal light enhancer. I have more empty pill thing. I have a hair bow and more Zofran. I have a few metoclopramides there, AKA Reglin, however, that one's probably no good because that was when I was first put on it. I have another empty thing of gum. I personally try not to chew gum too much because of my distension problems. Another thing of gas pills. That is empty, of course. I have this here that has no Tylenol in it, empty Zofran sleeves, a gum wrapper, and then a pill bottle that is empty. <laughs> um, I have some cold effects that is really old from last winter. I have this Minnie Mouse thing here that has a bunch of Starbucks cards and a bunch of Polaroids. <laughs> now guys, these Polaroids, oh my gosh. They're of Elf on the Shelf. Like, look, they are so funny. Like, I don't even know, like, random. So I have a uh, shower light bulb because I had to make sure I had the right type of end when I went to get it from the store. You guys almost fell over. Then I have one of these like, um, if you ever took a CPR course or a first aid course and talk about CPR in that first aid course, which I kind of hope you would. Um, I have one of these and basically it's one of the things that you blow into, but there's a filter. So if someone breathes up like you put in the dummy and you kind of, it's a barrier because when you do CPR, you're always supposed to have a barrier. Um, basically, I think that is where this is going to end because now it's just like stuff like this. And there's a lot of it. So anyways, that was today's video. I hope you all enjoyed, like that was a disaster and I didn't even find any of the things that I was looking for that help prescriptions besides maybe two or three. So anyways, I will see you all in my next video and toodles.